Good afternoon everyone. My name is Abhishek Kumar and my C1 presentation topic is Wattard based tunnel uh, scissor net. So we will begin with basics. Just a little more. So what is a tunnel? So you all know if there is some hindrance in the path, you see this uh, red one is the road and if you come across a hill then you can build a tunnel. So this is the basics of what is a tunnel. So why I choose this tunnel? Because the Bathard based tunnel, this is the longest railway tunnel. You can see here 57.09 km and it is the deepest traffic tunnel of the world. So from the surface, peak of a mountain, just above it, it is 2.450 km deep. Bathard based tunnel, season. Introduction. So why the tunnel was built? So for example, if you are in Italy and you want to go to France or Germany or Switzerland, whatever. So in between you have these high lofty mountains, the Alps. So to go from here to here, you need to either cross the Alps uh, using high uh, roads or just build a new tunnel. So this was the need of it. So I will quickly show you all this. This one is the route. You can see the map of Europe, Geneva, Rotterdam. So if you have to pass, go to Rotterdam from Geneva or from Switzerland. You need this tunnel to cross the Alp Mountains here. So this was not just a single project; it was a part of a big project. You have Cotter Dam, Gotthard uh, Dam, Sanere Dam, and much as well. There are other dams, uh, sorry, other uh, tunnels also. So yeah, so it is referred as base tunnel because it is the deepest along all the among all the tunnels present in this area in Switzerland. So some important uh, points are there in these places. You see this Edsfeld, this is the northern uh, yeah. This is the northern portal of the tunnel and this Bodio is the southeast uh, point of the tunnel. You have like this your whole tunnel. From north to south you have Edsfeld, Hemstead, Sedron, Pido, Bodio. In the south, you can see the salary based tunnel. So these are uh, some information about it. So it was basically built to reduce the time and all. You can see. So when it is built, it reduces the time by an hour. So it doesn't look like a much for one man, but just uh, think about it. If thousand men save one hour each day, they can do a lot of productive work and uh, improve the lifestyle or whatever economy of the country. So we. Yeah. It is a part of Rotterdam Basel Geneva corridor here in the water base tunnel. So it was uh, basically built to reduce the pollution and traffic on road to shift uh, load from truck to freight trains and uh, inter intermodal freight transport that is uh, just transport the cargo and uh, rolling highways. So you put the whole truck or car on the train to reduce the environmental impacts. So these are water qualities. It began in 4 November 1999 with survey and uh, all reconstruction things. Then 57 kilometers and all. It took around 17 kilometers, 17 years to build. Then at the deepest, it is the things. Sorry, at highest point, uh, it is 549 meter above mean sea level. So this is your mean sea level. The max it goes is 549 meter above mean sea level. Then uh, uh, and yeah, it is the first uh, flat tunnel of Alps, we will see. And then uh, if you take the north portal and south portal, due to weather differences, if you go from south to north, you can uh, experience a 10 degree change and all. Then yeah, so now we will see about the track. So the link consists of two single track tube tunnels, uh, means there are two tunnels basically and uh, from each each tunnel there is one line going so you will see one going north and one going south like this we will see further so the connecting points are first north north point s spread north portal it's 460 meter above means anyone south portal bodio here it is then yeah so basically now we come to engineering geology so it was built by this air transit Gotard limited it's like a indian railway like we have indian railway there it is the swiss government's railway company its cost was around 
9.56 billion and it was built after uh, two laws and uh, one referendum so 64% people voted for its over and then it was begin with uh, new rail link through aerospace project there was also air bank protection act to save the trees vegetation of the alps from cutting and all yes so this is the plan you see uh, these two tubes so i said there are two tunnels so these are the two tunnels uh, you can say one east one one uh, west one each one have a single track only so in the east one there would be one line in the west one there would be one uh, railway line so yeah this is not northern side hampshire this is south borio in between you have sedran for fido these all uh, stations means places and main two stations you have one here at Sedran, other at Fido. So here you see these green ones. Here the train can go from one tunnel to other for like if there is some emergency or some construction work is going on. So this is for that. Then they, these are the stations I told you. Then in between you have these uh, galleries at every 325 meters which connect the two tubes in case of any emergency or uh, something if there is any problem you can use these to evacuate or all so there are all safety measures in the next we see this is uh, so these are the stations i told you this is the station uh, this blue one is for uh, exhaust air you can remove the air and from tubes new air will come so these are all technicalities so the main construction was uh, in five parts you can see this is 57 kilometer so five parts were there at spread all the stations i told you earlier those were uh, where the construction began so five sites uh, it was awarded in five um, tracks so and yeah and 25 meter. so next this is the geological process this is a basic one i will show you the detailed one later so here these uh, one two these black spots are where the Construction started from five locations, and uh, this piece Vatgira and uh, Kuruzli stock. These are the two highest peaks below which the tunnel passes. So at piece Vatgiri, Vatgira, Vatgira, it is the deepest. It is around 2.45 kilometer deep, and uh, you can see here the tunnel is more or less uh, flat. So this is also one big achievement of the signal. It is a first flat tunnel of uh, Alps. And here you see this PBM. It, these are the again cross section. It shows tunnel boring machine. So here in this part it was excavated using tunnel boring machine. Here using dynamite. The green arrows show the direction how it went along. Yellow one is the east tube. Blue one is the west tube. So I told you about this. Longitudinal geological profile. So yeah, this one is the main longitudinal geological profile. So basically, they are all 90% it is crystalline rock. Here you can see 90% is from igneous and metamorphic rocks. They have high strength. They are favorable for tunneling. Tunneling. So yes, just there is a problem of 10% uh, of rock which are sedimentary. Here. Then uh, the main uh, issue or any safety measures is that uh, as you are so deep the rocks can burst due to high overburden so it has to take it has to be taken care of this is the cross section the red ones are green and white and all here it is in masses so yeah there are faults you are talking about structures in the, the construction site so there are 90 different isolated uh, faults the main one is at Saturn section, I will show you. So, in 90s there were, means 1990s here, there were many exploration which which will, uh, which showed that 1100 meter of the tunnel can be a risky job. There are many points in all. So, these black ones are showing you the exploration trail and all those things. The red one is the, you know, path and it, again there are poles in the pura syncline is there in the fido section here this is the syncline there is a syncline uh, there is a gypsum cap above so it can slide down so they 
took some measures during constructing it all. And uh, yeah, and the strategy was to cut through different fractured areas or weak zones at their narrowest point. So you have to spend the least money worth the least. And this graph shows you the temperature. As you can see, this is around 2950 kilometer from, so it is around 2.5 kilometers. So that much of rock will create a lot of temperature inside. So the temperature can rise to 46 degrees Celsius without ventilation. So section wise acceleration. The first uh, two north north sections, Hertzfeld and Hempstead. So they were simply excavated and around there, outside every uh, site there was a recycling plant. So all the rocks you are breaking, you can use later to as concrete aggregates or uh, other aggregates. And uh, a part of it was used to ensure the natural condition of a nearby river delta and all. Then Saturn section, it was near where there was pods and relaxed and shale in the tap stack massive. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, here in this tap stack sub massive, here were the pods. So it was excavated with steel arcs and supports. So here you see what is a some kind of support. This is a they are doing some test, but it is a the final structure will some, look something like this to support collapse from uh, protect from collapsing. Then fibro section here also there was a fault zone. So this is the top view. You see this red ones are the fault zones, and uh, so it was not found in the uh, detailed surveying before construction. So it was encountered during construction when the tunnel was being excavated. So you see this green one is the position of uh, station. So earlier it was supposed to go over the change from here where there is a fault zone, but later it has to be shifted. And uh, the S cube also was under fault zone. So it was given some yielding steel support. This you can see on this. This is the support that was given. These are the this would be excavated. So, yeah, so there was a steel support and it was just a deformed 40 centimeter. So, condition considering the height of over 1.5 or 2.5 kilometers, thick massive rocks, this deformation is very good. So, it is safe. Again, Bodio section, the last southern part, there were some new sediments, you say, unconsolidated. So to prevent from falling their delicate form, such umbrella pipe screening were used to prevent from falling and other site improvement technique of grouting was used. So this is a cross section, you can see this uh, diagram. Yes, this is the TBM, tunnel boring machine or it is also called mole because it digs. So here you are seeing men, so you can understand the scale it is approx 15 to 20 meter it varies according to your condition so it's quite you're seeing just front part it's quite long then uh, in the last piece also we see that uh, there is a fault which was also not earlier found this is a worm shaped fault you see here so here also some form or some mode like thing were installed before uh, excavating give a safety so yeah this is what you see is uh, they were digging from two sides so in the end just a little wall was removed so they just broke it so that was the final breakthrough in the east view it occurred on 15 october 2010 mm -hmm. great price for uh, switzerland or all the europe and for the humankind so it was uh, broadcasted on national tvs these are the workers you can see here, Switzerland flag and other flags. West tube, similar to 23 March 2009, and the official inauguration on 2016. So, you see, after 17 years of standing and taking this was done, and unfortunately, during construction, nine workers died. So, to honor them, respect them, a uh, ceremony was held just one day before 31 May in the Earthquake Northern Portal. So, that's good. Uh, next year 
so the whole world celebrated switzerland celebrated so swiss post made a you see this stamp to commemorate this moment enjoy it. the swiss uh, what you can say uh, money issuing also they issued this gold and silver coins in swiss banks so these are you see 50 franc 20 franc coins then environmental aspects most important so so called developed uh, developed uh, countries swiss uh, european countries so people are uh, people and government also want to preserve the environment so all the necessary measures were taken 13.3 million cubic ton meter of uh, material was excavated so it's the as large as uh, it's so much that you can build five giza pyramids which is called pyramid of cheops cheops or whatever it is so you can build five uh, giza pyramids from them that was the amount of it then uh, so 28% of the entire material was directly reused as aggregates and all other was also reused or used for constructive purpose only. Then water also, waste water, so it's treated to reduce acidity, other chemicals and uh, suspended to remove the impurities. And then also if it is hot or too warm or something, then it was cooled, then it be discharged. And finally the noise as it was a developed country. So for developed country then it was passing through nearby residential area so noise uh, reducing measures were also concerned, uh, taken care of you see temporary dams and absorbent for or noise reduce, reduction so yes these are the references i used to wikipedia obviously google different sites and i used two reports this one this last one is from official builder and the woman was uh, earlier reporter Lombard engine So this is the view of the northern portal. Here you see the northern portal. It's filled. Here you see the tunnel. It was also in the rear photo. So you see the tunnel is going somewhere behind this. These are the Alps. You see a big peak. So this is a relatively peak, uh, relatively little as what we are talking about. So this one too is small, but uh, uh, for that there would be more uh, more high peaks. So this is it. Thank you. If you have any questions, you can ask me whatever search. Thank you. Yes, Abhishek, it was a nice, very nice presentation. Thank you, sir. And it was very informative. Sir. Yes, have a big hand. So it was very informative. Yes, sir. Uh, and you also uh, given the. Sir, I uh, if I wanted, I could like uh, extend it, but uh, there is a lesser time. So yeah, I just rest it through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's interesting. Others can also read. It's interesting. You should read about it. Yes. Thank you, sir. So it was very informative and you also gathered the technical information also it was good yes, sir it was from those two reports it was in very detail thank you sir okay if you have any question you can ask yes yes you can ask any question anyone if you have any question <laughs> 